Hello, and welcome back to the Let's Play of Bahamut Lagoon. I have something to announce concerning my dragons, yet again. Remember how I said Mooney Mooney was... Mooney Mooney was budding before? It's progressed a little bit too far. Yeah. It got worse. I... I officially feel sorry for any troops that have to deal with the entire family. <laughs> and considering the way I intend to approach this next mission, that's going to be exactly what happens. Anyways, let's begin our assault deep into the depths of the Nautilus. I will not allow trash aboard my ship. How dare you filthy it up, you dirty scum, you. I don't think he's gonna get that many lines. Condition for victory, defeat of... That guy, Persona. Anyways. This mission I'm going to do a little bit differently than any previous missions I've done. This time, I'm just going to have a full-on dragon assault. There's a reason for this. That should become painfully obvious for you as um, my main force starts moving. Until then, let's watch Salmano charbroil some zombies. Zombies? What are they doing in here? Hmm. The spears don't appear to be doing much. And zombies are slow. Generally quite slow. But yeah, set every dragon to go. Every single one. And then just watch their hells carefully. Even the healing dragon. Yes, even you. Yes, you. Anyway, start moving your forces closer to this... Villi Canyon, so to speak. As this as Thunderhead shocks more zombies next to a what what would that be? Ugh. Is that a spleen I see in the background there? Hmm. -mm. It's big, it's green. I barely know my human anatomy, not even especially not Nautilus anatomy. But, if I were to have a guess, uh, this is probably somewhere in the stomach region. Gastrointestinal acid and all that. Wait a minute, did I set the dragon to go? Because he didn't move. Whoops, maybe I set him to wait. I'm gonna change that next turn. Once more, yeah. Go. Go, I trust you! Fly. Even though, do you, do you even have wings? You don't even have wings at all. How, can you, how are you flying? Nah. It's a point that I was bound to come up eventually. So apparently there are lizards in the depths, and I'm not sure what to call those things. Uh, they're kind of frog-like. But there's more to them than that that I'd rather not delve into. Dragon goes to go. All right. All right, Zora. Have you run up clean bear clothes? Something like that? Ugh. Ick. Good choice. I didn't want to have to see that thing straight, um, directly in here. Oh, something with 666 life. Ugh. Hopefully that graphical glitch won't occur. Uh, just as a warning to you viewers. Um, last couple times I've ran this mission, um, there has been a graphical glitch that has occurred. Where my screen ends up looking something like, um, how would I compare it to? It's kind of like something that you would use the, um, the old NES cleaning system kit on. Like a bunch of random numbers and odd textures start showing up. If that happens, I'm going to be, uh, doing a rather frantic series of button mashing until I finally get it to go back to normal. But until then, let's watch Salmando avoid being hit by a death pike. Or getting hit by a death pike in being dealt 500 damage. Hmm. 
The funeral pyre wasn't quite enough this time. Anyways. Thunderhead. Give him another go. You are not as fast or as durable. But still, you can burn everything just the same. So please do so. Zombie punched. This is progressing. I guess those are fit. Ice magic. Hmm. Eh, my dragons will be just fine. I fed them well. A lot of them are actually nearing mastery of the ice stat. Which is very essential. See? Level 10. Ice. Now all you gotta really worry about is getting thunder. Yeah, you see? This is the reason why I'm having the dragons move alone. Now, this is linked to send. This is send next dragon. That's weird. I had it set to go, but wh why didn't it go? Oh well. Wait, Moody, Moody you're, you're trapped in there too. Oh, come on. Bloody dragon. Okay, never mind. I can't move them any further. Yeah, if I would have had every unit involved in this fight, it'd never end. Well, it would it would end, but it would take so long that it would just be absolutely tedious for both the viewers and my voice. So that's a new attack. Energy terrain. These zombies have life link. Shoot. Anyways, move Mooney Mooney. Even if your characters are not moving, just select them off anyway so that your dragons can move. Just so that Thunderhead can... snaps a skeleton in between its jaws, or... or, you know, set it on fire. Either or. Both rather effective. And I'm trying to figure out how that attack works. Is it Does it force the dragon to bleed, and then the blood falls to the ground, and then the... It siphons it up from the ground to into the zombie itself. I don't know. And turn. Move. Move, you bloody dragon. All right. And freeze. Don't clap your hands. All right. Fair enough. Please don't. That these monsters' mouths, but their maws do that for you. As they do no damage at all. Yes. Anyways. Molten's diverted. I finally. Oh crap. Yeah, another thing. If you actually do attempt to do this mission with your army, Make sure that none of them attacked those, um, I guess they look like, um, warts on the surface? Or they're kind of like, uh, pulsating ant mounds? Yeah, don't touch the pulsating ant mounds. If you do, it'll be a poison shower. Now, your dragons, unfortunately, they can't help it. Or if you, if they're, alright, if they have full intelligence, they won't do it, but... Anything less, eh, they're gonna pop a couple zits. And... What are those? Those are... Sword eels? They're not quite narwhals. There's not a mammal there. It's more of a reptilian. Ah, what do I know? They look like reptiles on the uh, map screen anyway, so let's just call them reptiles. And... Oh, Molten just got nuked for a very minor amount of damage. <laughs> snap, curse snap, and curse snap. Nothing doing. We return with the light.